Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with part five of this wonderful series where we're going to timely talk about, according to Rolling Stone, the top 20 metal albums of all time. So let's go and see who hits their top 20. Um, we're going to start off with Anthrax Among the Living. Um, yes. Uh, yes, yes, I think everyone would agree uh, this is most people's definitive Anthrax album. And uh, yeah, so this is a no-brainer to be on the list. Of course, this belongs on it. So good start. <laughs> Let's move on. 19, Megadeth, Rusted Peace. Yep. I think it's... I think both of those these albums should be higher on this list, but whatever. I didn't make this damn list. I'm just reading it. Uh, yeah, duh, Rusted Peace. Duh! <laughs> you know. Uh, moving on. Uh, number 18, Tool Enema. Yes. Um, I think it's an absolutely fantastic album. Um, so, yes. Okay, great. Moving on. Merciful Fate, Melissa. At least they didn't leave off the king. Uh, yes, this is an easy one that belongs on this as well. So, definitely, yes. Okay. Finally, I, uh, I guess I, you know, in the last one I said I would have swapped it out for Holy Diver. Well, here it is. So, yes, of course. Does this belong on here? Uh, yeah. Easily, yes. So, moving on. Uh, number 15, Ozzy, uh, Diary of a Madman. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic one. So, yes. All right, moving on. Black Sabbath, Volume 4. Again, the whole... But whatever, I'll just say yes. <laughs> you know? Sure. Um, Iron Maiden's debut. Um, I think it's really good. Um, and incredibly influential, so I will say because of that, yes, but, you know, there are other Maiden albums I would definitely swap out for this, but whatever, so we'll say yes, t t uh, yeah, sure, fine. All right, moving on, uh, Screaming for Vengeance, yep, <laughs> yep, yes, 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 okay, so moving on. Uh, Ride the Lightning. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think if we hit four of five Metallica's early albums at this point, let's see, we've had Kill 'em All and Justice for All. Yeah, wait, Kill 'em All and Justice for All, Ride the Lightning. Oh, the Black Album. Yeah, four of, that, of the five. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I bet you think the next one, it, it'll be on there. Oh, I was wrong about one thing in the last 20. Apparently, there is another Pantera album on here. Number 10, Vulgar Display of Power. Um, again, I would swap this out for... Um, I'm good with this being on the list. It's an incredibly great album, but again, I'd swap Cowboys, but whatever. Moving on, um, Blizzard of Oz. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazingly great. Uh, so, yeah, sure, fine. Uh, moving on. Peace Cells. Um, I think Rusted Peace belongs above this, but whatever. Uh, that's not, I didn't make this list. But yes, of course, this belongs on the list. Uh, okay. This one, this kind of irritates me because this is a, uh, a fucking compilation album, right? Like, why wouldn't you put Orgasmatron or Bomber or Ace of Spades? I mean, there's a whole number of Motorhead albums you could have selected, but instead they chose a compilation album for Motorhead. Pretty insulting to Motorhead, I think. Uh, but whatever, that's what they chose. Alrighty, moving on. Uh, Rain and Blood. Duh. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, of, of course. All right, moving on. Uh, number five, Black Sabbath's debut. Yep. Um, absolutely. All right, moving on. Uh, number four, Number of the Beast. Yep. <laughs> I 
These these are no brainers at this point. Um, number three, British Steel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, of course, this belongs on here. Although personally, I would swap this out for Painkiller because I think it's better. But yeah, I'd say that I'd say it belongs. All right, moving on. Uh, number two, uh, Master of Puppets. Yep. 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 <laughs> So, uh, number one, drum roll. Okay, first of all, I'm going to complain before we reveal number one. Sorry, I'm faking you guys out. Um, I am pissed off that Creator didn't make it. Testament didn't make it. Suicidal Tendencies didn't make it. Except didn't make it. I could, okay, I could go on and on and on. Overkill didn't. Fucking Overkill didn't make it on here. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that they put bullshit on here like... Here, let's go back to like their bottom 20. Oh, man. Like, just some absolute crap made the list. I mean, fucking crappy pop... I mean, I don't hate this album, but does it belong on here? Compared to, like, Overkill and Testament shit? Of course not. Ridiculous. But I'll say something. Okay, that maybe that's a personal taste thing. Fine. Okay. This. This is objectively garbage, in my opinion, this music. As well as the, the biggest uh, violation of that. Death Heaven. Give me a fucking break. That's only because these idiot music journalists have a hard-on for this crap. Um... Another example of that is uh, fucking Naked City. Who the fuck has even ever heard of this shit? It's fucking garbage. You're telling me this makes the fucking list, but not Testament? Are you out of your fucking mind? Not Skid Row? But this? This garbage fucking music? Are you shitting me right now? Um, I just, like I said, I think they did that for, uh, just to, because they're music journalists, and uh, they feel that they have to, uh, you know, put some, like, obscure garbage music on here. And then they put on, like, again, nothing wrong with Van Halen, but it's not fucking metal. I'm sorry. It doesn't qualify. It just doesn't fucking qualify. Whatever. I'm done complaining about it. Uh, but, yeah, you see, and, and they fucking just put fucking the commercial album on instead of what their actual best album is. That just pisses me off. So, obviously, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this list overall. <laughs> Definitely not my uh, favorite list. So, let's, so with all that uh, bullshitting out of the way, let's get to their number one pick. You may have figured it out what it is by now. Um, you know, I'm okay with it being number one, by the way. I think it's an amazingly great album. It's an early album, incredibly important, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, let's take a look at number one. Black Sabbath's Paranoid. Okay, that's fine. You know, I can't really complain about that. Um, it's ridiculously important, and it's ridiculously amazing, and it's ridiculously great. So, but really, if they were going to do that, they should have probably just put only that Sabbath album on there instead of, like, five or six of them. But it, it is what it is. I mean, that's just what, that's just what they did on this list. They, you know... We're very generous with uh, the same band having, like, fucking 20 albums on the list or whatever. So, anyway, that's it um, for the series. Uh, I'm going to be basically, at this point, making a uh, spreadsheet where I uh, kind of review all my results. See what I think. That's going to be what's in the next, you know, my next video. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was, you know, some fun looking at this, making fun of it and all that. So that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper. Keep on rocking.